This is a video solution to one of the example uh, word problems for projectile motion. At the beginning of a football game, you observe the opposing team's place kicker kick the ball from 25 meters away from the goalposts. You think, wow, what a kick. You bring out your camera and record his kick. You use your computer in the locker room to observe that he kicks the football 22 meters per second. During the game, the opposing team has the ball. With the score tied, your opponents have the ball at the spot where the ball will have to travel 33 meters along the ground to reach the goalposts. The place kicker is getting ready to kick. The coach calls timeout because what he decides for the team to do depends upon whether or not he thinks the ball will go over the goalposts. He turns to you and he says, If the kicker hits the ball at a 45 degree angle with the ground, will it go over the goalposts, assuming they're 3.048 meters above the ground? What do you tell him? So let's figure do, do some uh, quick calculations here. So here's what I know. I've got my table all set up with my givens for kinematics, and I have two accelerations, two lists of givens, one for the vertical, one for the horizontal. And then I've got my little triangle for the initial velocity. I know because he kicks at 22 meters per second, 45 degrees, horizontally it's going to be 22 cosine 45, and vertically it's going to be 22 sine 45. The ball's going to travel along the ground, this time 33 meters to the goalpost, and the goalposts are 3.048 meters high. So in my table, what do I know? Well, I know the acceleration is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. It's going downwards, so that makes sense. Horizontally, no acceleration. From my triangle that I have, I know that the vertical velocity is going to be 22 meters per second sine 45, and the horizontal velocity, 22 meters per second cosine 45. And the horizontal velocity is nice because whatever it is in the beginning, it's the same at the end. So it's also going to be 22 meters per second cosine 45. I also know the height of the goalpost, 3.048 meters, and I know horizontally it's 33 meters away. So now how am I going to go about solving this? Well, time is going to be the key to solving this. So I'm going to find the time for it to reach that horizontal distance of 33 meters. And then once I have that time, I'm going to use that number into the vertical givens to figure out how high the ball is, it is traveling, or where it is, at that point in time, when it, after it's moved out 33 meters. So I'll look at the horizontal givens. There's my horizontal givens, and I'm going to find the time with the horizontal givens using my range equation, which is x equals x naught plus v naught t plus 1 fat squared. And I got 33 meters equals 22 meters per second sine 45 times time. So that gives me a time of 2.121 seconds. So that's how long it takes for the ball to travel across the ground, 33 meters. Now I need to figure out how high the ball is at that time when it's out 33 meters. So I'm going to use my vertical givens and the same equation the x equals x naught plus v naught t plus 1 f at a t squared to figure out the height of the, the ball. And as it turns out, when it's 33 meters away, it's 10.95 meters high. It's going to easily make it across those crossbars. So the kick is going to make it over the goalpost. That's what I'm going to tell the coach. So what does this look like on your paper? Well, I've got my little initial velocity triangle on the left, and you can see I've got my table of givens with the vertical and the horizontal. I have a little description here finding the time with the horizontal givens and the 2.121 seconds. And then to find the height, I've got my equation down there at the bottom. And notice that wherever my time was, I used all the decimals the calculator gave me, so I don't do any rounding until the very end.